Yeah. So this is what I want to say. Hello, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a herb uh, that I love. Uh, it's a herb that I love. Uh, it's a very common herb that's used for cooking. Uh, I like it in my stew, I like it in my soup, I like it, I like it as a garnish. You can use it to relieve some uh, mild uh, medical symptoms. And the herb I'm going to talk about right now is the uh, mint. I have mint in my garden, I planted it in my garden, but uh, I'm going to take it off now because I, I've left it uh, for too long and it's bolted. So it's trying to bring uh, some seeds, uh, but I don't need that. Actually, uh, mint is very um, invasive. Uh, it just, you know, sends out uh, its roots uh, all over the place and it can take over your garden if you're not, you know, if you don't keep up with it. Uh, I planted it in an enclosed place, but of course uh, it's grown beyond that. Do you like mint? Why am I talking about mint? Uh, I'll let you know towards the end of this video. So I have never allowed it to uh, bolt like that before. And what I've come to find out is that the bees, they love uh, the mint. So what I found is uh, the bees, they love the mint. And, and they're on my mint and my, my oregano and they're like buzzing like crazy. I see other kinds of insects uh, that are coming for the pollen. Uh, that, that's coming from the pollen and the nectar uh, so I have to be careful here because they are buzzing around so now I see that they attract the bees so much um, I'm gonna plan next year to do something else uh, with the mint um, I'm not gonna leave them here so uh, next year I'm gonna use another strategy so that they can at least attract the bee and pollinate my garden for me uh, so for this year they are done um, they've bolted so I'm gonna take them off what are the habit benefits of uh, mint? Uh, mint can be used uh, in different ways. You have seen a uh, mint used in, in your toothbrush. You have, um, you have seen <laughs> mint used in your toothpaste, in your bubble gum, and a variety of other products. And, and why do they do that? Because mint has these bacteria uh, properties in them that can, that's good for oral health. If you use minty product in your mouth, uh, it keeps your mouth fresh uh, longer. And it also helps uh, because it has the bacteri antibacterial property. It helps to uh, make sure that your mouth is uh, fresh. I mean, can you imagine if you just eat garlic and you have a presentation to do? You don't want to go in there, you know, talking to people with garlic, you know, smelling your, coming from your mouth. So you can use mint. Mint can also facilitate uh, digestion because it has uh, menthol in it. So that, that helps uh, in digestion. Also, it's an anti-inflammatory, so it can soothe uh, any swelling. Uh, mint stimulates digestive enzymes uh, that helps absorb nutrients uh, from food. Uh, so you get faster metabolism from that. But does it lead to weight loss? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, the fragrance of mint is very refreshing and soothing. Uh, it's, it's relaxing, you know, imagine just relaxing with a cup of uh, hot mint tea. Uh, or mint tainted smoothie kind of like just enjoy the aroma of it it's very calming and soothing and you know that would just help you to relax and get rid of some stress uh, so that just takes uh, the stress away the stress of the day you know just takes it away so it's very relaxing and soothing also uh, it can help release the serotonin in the brain uh, that may help you relax and just uh, de-stress Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, enough talking about mint, I'm going to go ahead and just cut my mint and I'll let you know what I do with it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, the mint, just cut them off.
I have this bunch. Uh, so I have this bunch right now. So when I cut my mint, I, I, you know, just leave it in the bunch and I tie it together like this. I tie it together like this and I just hang it upside down. You can see this one is drying up. Uh, within a couple of days, it's going to dry out and it just, it just falls off and it's very crispy. So it's very crispy. So that's what I do. And then when when it's all dried i don't have to keep it in the sun i just hang, hang it upside down uh in the house and it just dries up when it's dry i put it in a i i just put it in a container is a ziploc bag or in a container and i put it in, a, in my fridge and you know when i need it i use it so when it's all dried uh you can put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the fridge so when you need it you get it out and you use it you can use it in your your tea like i said i like to have my mint in my tea i like my mint in my smoothie i like my mint in my soup and i like my mint in my stews uh, i also like mint as a garnish do you like mint uh, do you have other herbs that you want to share uh, leave me a comment uh, subscribe to my channel uh, like this video so that's it. Uh, why am I talking about mint, you say? <laughs> because mint grows in my garden and if it grows in my garden or if it's happening in my garden, you get to know about it. Until next time, keep planting, keep planting and keep growing and I'll see you. like mint or do you have other herbs uh, that you like uh, and you want to share <laughs>